What is going on YouTube, Kronos here and welcome back to the PSO2 video. So in today's video we're going to be talking about the newly buffed Cradle of Darkness. They recently released the UH version of this quest and oh man, we'll get to that in a moment. But before we jump into that, uh, if you guys are a fan of this type of content, you should toss a like, let me know how you guys are, how I'm doing, how the video is doing, that sort of stuff. If you want to keep up with the content moving forward, I know I'm a bit all over the place. I tend to be in a lot of the content I do because I kind of do a little bit of everything. But if you're curious, I want to find out what's going on. Make sure to subscribe, bell icon to be notified of videos when they go live, and uh, let's hop into this one. So this UH Cradle could not have come at a better time. Now, granted, it's been out for about a week now, and you're probably thinking, but Chrono, why didn't you make a video sooner on this? I needed to know about this sooner. I'll be honest, knowing about this sooner, your inventory wouldn't have been, it, you, you, you straight up just wouldn't have enough inventory to sustain farming this for a full two weeks. We farm this for maybe four or five triggers. We do it every once in a while and every single time, depending upon your RNG, it's, it, it destroys. It absolutely destroys your inventory. It is insane. Basically, the drop table has been buffed fairly well, where these enemies are dropping 13 stars pretty consistently. I mean consistently, you're actually seeing a run I did a few days back over on Twitch. If you guys want to keep up with the, uh, the Twitch content, of course, make sure to go uh, follow over there. Completely free. Helps me out a ton. Either way. Um, the drops you guys are probably seeing goes off they go off insanely like it's absolutely crazy honestly i couldn't foresee anyone keeping up with the number of drops here if they didn't have 13 stars set to auto pick up it's just it's insane to think about like you know how often this will come or, or how often this will uh this will come up and they'll be able to actually pick up these items in reality i only stop to pick up things like maceta crystals and they're probably thinking why does this matter right like what's the big deal you know 13 stars cool x cubes 13 star units i can't even do anything with right we can't even trade them in yet well first off these 13 stars have some pretty interesting drops on them some of them are dropping guardian soul material yeah so catalysts things of that sort souls you might need they're dropping them straight up and a lot of people have been able to make their guardian soul units or weapons from drops that have come from these. It's absolutely insane. And again, you're probably thinking, why couldn't we farm these sooner? What are you doing? What's, what's going on? You're gonna see this in the background. Again, this is a video, or this is a run that we did over on uh, on Twitch, but it gets to a point, and this is me with 150 storage spots, where I almost ran out of storage completely trying to keep up with this. You basically can get um, PSE bursts, and now if you're familiar with Farming Cradle, way, way back in the day before they buffed it, um, and when I say buffed it, they only really buffed the, uh, they only gave it a UH version, really. They didn't, like, you know, specifically buff the drop rate. Cradles already had a ridiculous drop rate. It already been pretty good for farming experience and things of that sort way, way back in the day. It's kind of one of the first few emergency quests that you do or that we did way back to, like, you know, level up even as far back as I can say the beta. I actually remember running this at, like, level 31, trying to level up in the first beta um, and, uh, you know, having pretty, pretty decent success there. Either way. As far as the farming goes, this is mostly just a PSA video to uh, if you have time to do Cradle, do Cradle. Um, if you're having difficulties getting, you need to get your units made, kind of last minute put together Guardian Souls, so on and so forth, or just good units um, from that video that we released just the other day. Super, super great for quest to farm itself. You can get triggers from uh, the, not the Rising Weapon Badge Shop, I'm sorry. I almost said Rising Weapon Badge Shop, but you can get triggers from the, the Fresh Find Shop, I believe. Um, they do pop up usually just about every other day. Now, there is another quest that got buffed as well, the Mothership quest. We'll talk about that in a different video. I personally haven't gone to it yet, but I heard it can drop some pretty interesting things in it as well. Definitely worth going through and checking out. But as far as just the sheer number of drops, Cradle apparently has been dropping more drops. Um, Mother just tap or Mothership just happens to have a few other drops that you might be able to make use of. But overall, this is mostly just going to be a PSA to, hey, farm Cradle and be prepared when you do. Um, when I say be prepared, I mean, you're probably going to see on screen fairly soon, if not already, that PSE bursts can happen. And I remember, if you guys remember what PSE bursts happened beforehand, you kind of group up in one spot, try to kill as many enemies as possible. And we pick up things like, you know, tons and tons of discs, tons of money being on the floor, you know, some rares and things like that for X cubes. But in this case, guys, it's dropping straight 13 stars, weapons, units, all the types. Now, weapons wise, we can turn those in X cubes, so that's going to be pretty easy. I would pay attention again to catalysts, things of that sort, because they can drop straight up catalysts, reverie catalysts. Um, I've seen glare catch drop, things like that have dropped direct, directly on weapons, not always on units, but they do drop on weapons as well, so keep an eye on either one. Um, 
in the number is is absolutely crazy it's a lot to sort through it can be very overwhelming so just be prepared know that it's going to be like hey if we get a pse burst on one of our runs we got to stop to sort inventory because it's going to be absolutely astronomical um, I highly recommend if you're not someone who has done this before in your inventory, there's a little magnifying glass near the top, click on it. You can actually use that to sort or to uh, search for affixes that are in your inventory. I use it consistently. I kind of you know take it for granted thinking everyone knows how this works specifically, but it's actually super, super helpful for finding certain things to go ahead and put them away. There's a few tips I would have for doing this process itself. If you're going to be jumping into cradle first and foremost, if you have things in your basic and your character storage, so your default and your character storage, clean it out. Take everything out of those two storages. I would highly recommend putting them in something like maybe a premium storage. Maybe you have an alt that has their character storage. Yeet it all into there. Definitely, definitely get that taken care of. Step number two, clean out your inventory as well. I know that seems kind of, you know, pretty straightforward, but in reality, you don't want to have your inventory filled with a bunch of extra stuff. It's going to make things difficult for you. Um, the other step I would mention is if you can't clean out your storages and you're like, I'm just going to go to as much storage as I actually have. My other step or my other you know, recommendation for you in this case, lock everything, lock all of the stuff that is in your in, in your storage that you're looking to hold on to, because you're going to have to go back and sort back through your storage. I'm going to tell you right now, if you get a PSE burst, super cool, can get quite a few items. If you get a PSE burst and then you happen to get a cross burst, you get a one more, um, you know, increased time, it can stack up pretty quickly. And as strong as we are right now, I mean, these enemies are level 91, but we still can shred through them kind of like paper. And the faster we're killing them, the more that are spawning, meaning the more drops that they're going to have, meaning the more chance we have for cross burst, PSE bursts, all that stuff. So it's it can get absolutely crazy. It can get overwhelming very, very quickly. But if I had to say the most important tips for you, clean your inventory, clean your default storage, clean your character storage. If it comes down to it, maybe it's time to go ahead and invest that 100 um, star gems into getting extra storage. For me personally, I went ahead and invested in extra storage just to put 13 star units in. 13 star units currently, we can't turn them into X cubes, but there is an exchange for them on JP to turn them into X cubes, meaning that we will probably get something like that fairly soon. So I've got an extra storage that's filled with nothing but 13 star units. I'm going through it slowly to see if there's anything in there that I need. Everything else is staying there. And then when that you know feature comes out, taking all those units out of that extra storage and immediately turning them into cubes. Cool tip. If you ever happen to uh, get extra storage of any type or even, of course, you know, stuff like material storage, so on and so forth. And you're afraid of the items that are inside once it expires, they are totally fine in that location. They will never go away. The only difference is you can't add to it. You can take items out with no problem, but you cannot add to it. So if that, you know, is making a break in whether or not you pick up something, I say go for it. A lot of times there are some players who pick up material storage like once, eat everything into there for a while. And then, of course, you know, they'll wait a while, you know, maybe, wait, maybe wait a month or two and then, you know, pick up material storage again, eat everything else into it. Use your extra characters, use everything you possibly can, because I said, like I said, storage is going to get crazy. Worst case scenario, I would say even if you plan to not keep those 13 star units, don't just discard them. I mean, throw them, at least throw them at the vendor. Worst case scenario, that's still a thousand meseta a piece. It seems kind of silly, but it's still something and you can sell from storage if you need to. So again, totally up to you and how you decide to go about this. I would say double check, you know, your, um, your settings, you know, the auto pickup settings are there. There are some that are set to auto pick up weapons, auto pick up, uh, units, so on and so forth. You might want to adjust how yours are going to work out because this quest, I mean, as much inventory space as I have, it broke me. It broke my inventory and I was afraid to run it for a little while because I wanted to sort through inventory until I got a system for it. But that's mostly the entire game itself. When you get a system for something, things become much, much easier. And this is just something I wasn't prepared for. So I want to make sure that I let you guys know about it ahead of time. That way, when you jump into this, you're also prepared for it as well. Anyway, guys, that's all I have to say about this. I think I'm going to let this keep running and I'm not 100% sure. We'll have to see. But anyway. A like on the video is much appreciated and absolves you half your ad block out. The other half is absolved by subscribing. Both are completely free and they do help me out a ton. If you guys do enjoy videos like this, of course, a little comment would be helpful or if you have any questions. And if you want to keep up with the content, make sure to click on that subscribe button or click on the bell icon to be notified of videos as they go live, as well as community posts or join us over on Discord or follow me over on Twitter for notifications via those two avenues. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Peace out.